Allie. So I wanted to start a new series on this channel called Wiki How with Allie. And so basically, uh, we just go and find things on Wiki How and read them, look them up, and see if we could do them. And I'll give you guys my opinion on them. So on today's episode of Wiki How with Allie, we are looking up how to be emo. All right, if you guys don't already know this, I am emo, I'm seen, and um, we're going to see if Wiki How, by their definition on how to be emo, um, I want to see if I fall into Wiki How's version of emo. So let's get this started and see how to be emo. All right, so there was a couple of results um, when I searched up how to be emo, uh, but this one, I guess, is the best one. I think it says in like 14 steps. I think this one was the most generalized one, so let's get started. All right, so from the suburbs to the beaches, teenagers have been self-identifying as emo for years. What is emo and what does it even mean to be emo? Hmm, that's a very good question, Wiki. I mean, I'm sure you're gonna answer it. We're gonna skip a lot of this. If you guys want to read the whole thing, I'll put the link in the description of the whole um, page. Emo has its roots in mostly hardcore punk and indie, but it has expanded into many styles, sounds, and cultures from indie rock to pop punk. Alright, emo is huge and it's here to stay. If you want to learn about the history, the music, and the culture, to get started participating in emo culture, you've come to the right place. <laughs> yes, you have. Part one, looking the part. Get an emo appearance. Start up with getting an emo styled hair up until the mid 2000s. There was no real emo hairstyle these days. Emo hair usually refers to a particular layered haircut in which long bangs are swept and styled to one side. To get modern day emo hair, start growing out your bangs, but still getting clean up cuts on the back of your neck. <laughs> what? <laughs> Pull the bangs over and evenly across above your eyebrow and use mousse. Well, if you want, I guess. If you're female, get layers in your hair on the sides. Yeah guys, only on the sides. Don't get layers in the back of your head because clearly, clearly, you don't want to have um, layers all around your head. You just want to have layers on the sides. I'm being sarcastic. If you guys are going to get your hair cut in an emo style, make sure to layer all around your head and not just the sides. Because if you don't uh, layer the back of your head and you have like these really short pieces on the side, it's going to look really, really strange. So, wiki how, <clears throat> wiki how, get a thumbs down from me. That is a no-go. You should not do it only on the sides. <sighs> to get modern styled makeup, start using liquid or pencil eyeliner. Don't be afraid to apply to the waterline. Experimenting with this will only make you better. Yes, do use uh, liquid or pencil eyeliner for your um, makeup, uh, preferably black. Don't be afraid to apply to the waterline. Just be very careful when you, get, when you do this, guys. Your eyes are very sensitive organs of your body. So if you are going to do it, make sure you start doing it a little bit like, don't press too hard, okay? Also, when it comes to like winged eyeliner, some of you guys ask me like how I do my eyeliner and I have like makeup tutorials on how I do my makeup. If you guys want to go check that out, it's on my YouTube channel um, on a playlist, um, but practice makes perfect. So if you're learning how to do makeup or learning how to do emo makeup, just uh, practice. You're probably not going to get it right on the first shot. You might look like a raccoon. Yeah, I've done that before. But um, just be sure to keep going. Practice makes perfect and do not give up. Start wearing nail polish. Black is usually a popular color among emos. Consider getting piercings. Snake bites and septum rings are very common piercings among the emo community. If you're old enough, contemplate getting one of your fancy. What's really funny is that they literally said snake bites and septum rings and that's like, yeah, I got those. Okay, so that's a, that's a check mark, I guess. I passed that one. If you guys are underage or just thinking about getting piercings, remember that especially facial piercings are a lot of maintenance. So it's a lot of cleaning, a lot of taking care of them. So yeah, just keep that in mind. 
Number two, dress in emo fashion. Start changing your wardrobe to include more garments involved in with the emo subculture. Vintage t-shirts and <laughs> and checked shirts. Checked shirts? Isn't it checkered? What the hell is checked? What's a checked shirt? I think they meant to say checkered and not checked because checked is like a check mark and checkered is like you know, like plaid, plaid, plaid. Wear an emo band t-shirt such as Rites of Spring, Moss Icon, Sunny Day, Real Estate, or Thursday Underneath. Why do I not know any of these bands? More modern emo kids can be seen wearing shirts for alternative rock bands such as My Chemical Romance and for death metal bands. Okay, I think I'm more of a modern day emo. Thick horned rimmed glasses. God, those were so popular. I don't think anyone uh, wears those glasses anymore. So if you have like a pair of uh, glasses like that, you probably got them from when it was like 2010 or something. Messenger bags to carry your notebooks. It doesn't really matter what kind of bags you have as an emo kid. You could have a backpack, a messenger pack, bag. Ugh. You could even have like a freaking purse. Like it really doesn't matter as long as like it looks emo, like it's black or like, you know, Whatever, it doesn't really have to be like anything specific. Flat shoes such as Converse or Vans. Ah, this is the ultimate question to all my emo kids out there. I would love you guys to vote in the comment section, Vans or Converse, what do you guys like better or what do you guys think is better? Just comment down below. I wanna see um, if Converse or Vans is more preferable to you guys. I personally would pick Converse, but you know, I, I like Converse. So, buy several pairs of black, blue, and even multicolored skinny jeans. Yeah, if you could fit in them. I mean, yeah, that, that's probably some good advice. I mean, you don't necessarily need skinny jeans, but mm, probably would be recommended. Number three, make good friends with the hoodie. Make good friends with the hoodie. What? What? Nearly all emo styles involve in some way or another the good old friend of the wardrobe, the hooded sweatshirt. It is possible to give that hoodie a distinctively emo flair. Hmm? Alright, I don't know if you should be friends with your hoodies, but um, I definitely would say, I mean, hoodies are great. I mean, I love hoodies. Um, some people don't, but I don't know, do emo kids... Do emo- do all emo kids wear hoodies? It, is that a thing? Is me like- <laughs> I can't even- I- I- okay, I'm broken. This wiki how broke me. Wait. The reason why I like hoodies is because I'm emo? Is that- is that what it is? Oh my god. Guys. I've cracked the code. Wow. Oh, here they go. Cut a hole for your thumbs in the sleeves of your hoodies. Wear it with your thumbs sticking through to keep yourself warm in the winter months. If you guys want to do that, go for it. But remember, if it's your favorite hoodie, you probably shouldn't do it. But if it's like a hoodie you like don't mind getting scrapped, yeah, you could do it. But I would not recommend cutting a hole in the hoodie, especially if it's a hoodie that you really cherish. It could ruin the fabric. So... Yeah. Part two of three, understanding emo. Can we just take a minute and just look at this picture for a second? This guy literally looks like he's having so much trouble. He's literally like, what is this? What incarnations is this emo? Learn about emo. To be emo, you need to understand emo. It helps to know your history on the subculture if you're claiming to be part of it. I wish I had like a mustache right now, just like some 18th century lecture. Know the subgenres of emo. Emo did not so much evolve, but grew offshoots and subgenres instead. Yeah, I mean there are like subgenres of emo, but there's also subgenres of alternative. So like nowadays we just call like everyone who's like goth, emo, metal, punk, we just call everyone under the umbrella of alternative, so yeah, there's a lot of subgenres of everything. Emo core, post-emo indie rock, midwest emo, emo pop, screamo. There, there's just so much. Most of these um, subgenres, though, are only based on 
music preference, but most of the time, um, I don't know one single emo kid that listens to one specific music only, so, you know. Number three, appreciate emo music. Start finding emo bands to listen to and start expanding your music taste. They have so many bands, oh my god. Oh god, I mean, if I was like a normie and I was like, I want to be emo and I read this thing, I'd be like extremely overwhelmed. Um, luckily, I already listened to these bands and this kind of music, but, um, I would just be very overwhelmed. I feel like I'm in, like, history class all over again and they're like, please study for this because we will have a history exam in two weeks. And my brain would be like, <sighs> Number four, tell the difference between emo and other subcultures. Oh, here we go. Scene tends to wear brighter colors and have teased back combed hair, which may feature coon tails. I actually used to wear those too, to boot. Goth is a subculture that emerged from the British post-punk scene in the late 70s, early 80s. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, a lot of goths do not appreciate being, like, anywhere near, like, subcultured or attached to emos. So, WikiHow, I probably would say, um... Goth is not an emo subculture, um, so I'd give them a big thumbs down on that one. Number five, develop a passion for different kinds of music. Well, I feel like you already went over that, and I feel like Wiki kind of is repeating itself a lot. They already said how to dress and what kind of music to listen to, so I don't know why they're, like, repeating. That, that they could have just deleted. Um, they probably could have just said, um, Develop a passion for different kinds of music in the beginning. This number five is trash. Number six, look to the bands for tips. What? Like, no one's gonna do that. Number six is stupid. No one from a band is going to give you tips about music. Unless, I don't know, they're really nice people, but let's be very honest, don't think that's gonna happen. Part three of three, participating in emo culture. What the? Is that a curling iron? No, wait, hold on. Is that a curling iron? No, that's not a curling iron. It looks like a gas pump. What is that? First of all, everyone in those pictures are not being emo. I mean, they could be emo. They don't look emo. What happened to the spiky hair? Most of, the, most of these pictures were kind of like emo, but like this one was not. <sighs> Go to shows. Originally, emo was a small local scene that attracted national attention. If you like a band or you want to support your local um, emo or alternative artist, go support that band, go support that artist. Go watch their shows, um, follow them on social media. Um, that's basically the best way you could participate in the culture. Maybe join some um, emo websites um, that you can find friends on. But there's a bunch of ways to participate in emo culture and um, yeah, they, they could have just summed this up really quickly. Two, cultivate a creative persona. In general, the emo subculture values the arts, painting, making music, writing, and expressing yourself creatively are all important ways to participate in the emo subculture. Basically, I would just sum this up and say, just be creative, be yourself, and express yourself the way you want to, so. Number three, consider picking up an instrument. Mmm. I would say if you guys want to learn how to play an instrument, I say go for it. Totally, totally go for it. Um, but this is not something that is like necessary to be emo. So I say like if you have that sort of musical talent, I say like yes, definitely go for it. Um, but um, would it give you credibility? Uh, no. Just because you play an instrument doesn't make you more emo or less emo. So that's a big for me. Number four, make your own clothes. If emo is punk, then we can assume emo is DIY too. Listen, listen. I am all for DIY. Yes. If you guys want to make your own clothes, go for it. Um, no one said it was going to be easy though, so I would suggest if you guys want to do uh, DIY or making your own emo clothes, I would really, really highly suggest 
find clothes that are already a base of what you want your clothes to look like. So whether it's just a basic black t-shirt that you like to just like rip some holes in, or you found like a um, a tank top with a like a skull on it and like maybe you can like bedazzle it up with some um, studs but I would definitely suggest that you don't need to pay a fortune to have the emo look if you're looking for clothes that you like to spice up or make a little bit more emo so yeah um, that is the end for the wiki house I think uh, they could have like summed this up a little shorter I feel like this was really freaking long I did not expect it to be this long so this video is probably gonna be really long I personally would say if you guys want to be emo or if you guys are emo and you guys are just like you know interested and that sort of thing. You don't necessarily have to have all these things to be emo. You could just enjoy um, emo music or just like alternative music. You can have an alternative style. Um, there's not really a specific thing um, to really define yourself as emo because um, emo is like literally like sort of a lifestyle or like a, it's like a feeling also. I probably would say like there's different definitions for emo, but I think overall Wiki How kind of did a somewhat good job. If I had to rate this Wiki How, I'm gonna rate it a 6 on 10. It was decent, just very long. I felt like I was reading a whole freaking um, history lesson and not something I enjoy. Anyways, guys, so that is the end of Wiki How with Allie. Let me know what you guys think of this wiki how. It was super long though, like, ugh. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay loyal, stay royal. Bye guys!